Hello everyone, I'm here again to discuss with you the hyperbola, this time with center at HK, and I am your teacher, Mr. Mark Anthony Laroya. Hyperbola with center at HK. So these are the standard equations of our hyperbola with center at HK. The first one, we have the quantity x minus h squared over a squared minus Quantity y minus k squared over b squared equals 1, wherein its axis is parallel to x axis. While this, another standard equation, we have quantity y minus k squared over a squared minus quantity x minus h squared over b squared equals 1 with axis parallel to y axis. And again, a is the distance from our center to our vertis, vertex, one of the vertices, and C is still the distance from our center to our focus. Now, this time, since our center is at HK, the movement or the change in the coordinates of our center will be simply be plus or minus A if we're going to get the coordinates of our vertices and then plus or minus c to get the coordinates of our foci. So let us now first talk about the hyperbola with center at hk, wherein the, uh, the axis is parallel to x-axis. So we have here our hyperbola, wherein the center is at hk, and the two curves of our hyperbola are facing to the left and right. And as you can see here, these are the two vertices and the two foci. They are all aligned horizontally. And so their axis is parallel to our x-axis. And again, so from our center, the movement to our vertices is horizontal with a distance of A. So that means we add or subtract a value of a to our h to get the coordinates of our vertices. So this becomes now h minus a k and this one is h plus a k. And then again, from our center to our foci, we add and subtract a value of c to get the coordinates of our foci. So for our foci on the left, we have h minus c, k, and this foci here on the right is h plus c, k. Let us now discuss the hyperbola with center at h, k, wherein the axis is parallel to y axis. So this is our hyperbola, wherein the curves are facing upward and downward. This time, our center, vertices, and foci are aligned vertically. And that means their axis is parallel to y-axis. So to get the coordinates of our vertices from our center, we add or subtract a value of a to the k coordinate of our center. So we have the vertex of our curve on top of our center we have h k plus a and then below our center the vertex will have the coordinates h k minus a and so same procedure with our foci but this time we add or subtract a value of c to our k of our center we will be having h k plus c and then below we have h k minus c. Let us now solve a problem in hyperbola with center at hk. Determine the foci and the equations of the asymptotes of the hyperbola with an equation quantity x minus 4 squared over 16 minus quantity y minus 1 squared over 25 equals 1. So based on our standard equation that is given, it is a hyperbola with center at hk. 
to be specific at 4, 1, wherein the axis is parallel to x-axis. So, the axis of our hyperbola is a horizontal axis. The center is 4, 1. So, those are the coordinates of our center. That means h is equal to 4 and k is equal to 1. And then we have our a squared is 16. So, that means our a is 4. b squared is 25. So, our b is equal to 5. And then using these values of a and b, we can get the value of our c, which is c is equal to the square root of the sum of a squared and b squared. So that will give us c equals 6.4 or 6.40. This is the distance from the center to the focus. So to get the value of our foci or the coordinates of our foci, it means we add we either we add or subtract a value of 6.4 to the h of our center, which is 4. So the focus on the left would be h minus c k. These are the coordinates of our focus on the left. So this will be negative 2.41. And on the right side or the focus on the right side of our from the center will be h plus c k. So this will become now 10.41. So these are the two coordinates of our foci. And then for the equations of our asymptotes, by the way, the inclining asymptote will have the equation y equals b over a times quantity x minus h plus k. By the way, this quantity x minus h will be multiplied to our numerator b, not on the denominator a. So this will become now by simply substituting the values of a and b as well as our h and k, we have y equals 5 over 4 times quantity x minus 4 plus 1. And then for our declining asymptote, we have y equals negative b over a times the quantity x minus h plus k. And again, the quantity x minus h will be multiplied to our numerator and not on the a. So we have now the declining asymptote of our hyperbola will have the equation y equals negative 5 over 4 times the quantity x minus 4 plus 1. So for this problem, this is the graph of our hyperbola wherein the center is at 4, 1 and the vertices and foci and the center are aligned horizontally and the two curves of our hyper hyperbola are facing to the left and the right and with the standard equation of quantity x minus 4 squared over 16 minus quantity y minus 1 squared over 25 equals 1. So let us so solve another problem in hyperbola with center at hk. This time, determine the vertices and the equations of the asymptotes of the hyperbola with an equation Quantity y minus 2 squared over 16 minus quantity x plus 2 squared over 9 equals 1. So by examining the given standard equation, we can see here or we can say that our hyperbola has a axis uh, parallel to y axis. That means the axis of our hyperbola is a vertical axis. And then based on the given, our center now would be negative 2, 2 because our h will be negative 2 and the value of our k is positive 2. So, based on the given as well, our a squared is 16, so that means our a will be equal to 4. Our b squared is 9, that means our b is equal to 3. So, again, 
A is the distance from the center to the vertex. And again, the value of C can be computed using the formula C equals quantity or rather C equals the square root of the sum of A squared plus B squared. So, let us now get the coordinates of our vertices. So, the value of 4 will be the distance from the center to our vertex. So, that means we add or subtract 4 units from the uh, k coordinate of our center. So, that means for the upper vertex or the vertex above the center, we have h, k plus a. So, simply substitute the values, we will have the coordinates negative 2, 6. So, we add 4 units to the k coordinate so that it, this h will remain negative 2. And then we have 6. And then on the lower vertex, or that is below the center, we have h, k minus a. So, we simply subtract 4 from 2. We will have negative 2, negative 2. So, these are the two coordinates of our vertices. And for the equations of our asymptotes this time, the formula of our, or the rather the equation of our inclining asymptote would be y equals a over b times the quantity x minus h plus k, wherein this x minus h will be multiplied to our a and not on the b. So, substitute, uh, we substitute the values of a, b, h, and k. Our equation for the inclined or inclining asymptote would be y equals 4 over 3 times x plus 2 plus 1. And for our declining asymptote, the equation is y equals negative a over b times the quantity x minus h plus k. By substituting again the values of a, b, h, and k, we will arrive at the equation y equals negative 4 over 3 times quantity x plus 2 plus 1. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you learned something new about hyperbola to be specific about hyperbola with center at hk. See you again next time and stay tuned for the next video. God bless.